The elite operators of the U.S. Special Operations community are tasked with only the most difficult and dangerous missions. The subject featured in the following interview operated within this community and acted as a consultant on the development of Medal of Honor. Their identity has been concealed for security purposes. If somebody asked me what I do for a living, I, I help people. <laughs> When I'm on an op, I'm not thinking about anything about the op. Home is at home. What the job is in front of you, that's, that's the only thing that matters at the time. Guys are always going to modify their gear the way that they want to, obviously, but nobody's going to dictate how you carry your magazines or what holster you use. The bottom line is results. If you're on a DA and you're, and you're kicking doors, and the only thing you're thinking is check your six, give the squeeze, and do your job, once you're in the door, you're thinking eight box shots. Eight box shots on shoots and don't shoot the no shoots. If everybody's standing, then we're good to go. Let's let's tackle the next problem. Every man around you has the utmost confidence in you to do your job. And at the same time, you better do your job because they're expecting you to. E1 mission is successful. You can bet there's a dozen lessons learned that you've taken home. Success within a brotherhood is defined as taking care of your brothers. That's the bottom line. Everybody comes home.